Ugh. Obviously, Lion's front office making every beat writer look like a genius with that one. Woo! Best corner in the draft, right there. Hey, I can see the need. I do wish that we would have come up with a little bit more draft capital here, but I get it. Two people have to sit down at the trade table. Yeah, instead, let's just take a developmental position with a top three pick. Are you kidding me? Okuda's gonna be a beast. To be fair, he played almost exclusively man coverage in college, so that should definitely help familiarize him with the scheme. But he also seems like he has a really high football IQ, and he seems to just be an intelligent person overall. That says a lot, and his interviews are kind of where he won me over. Hips on a swivel, baby! But I wanted Chase Young or Isaiah Simmons. Oh! Follow that up with the best running back in the class, too? I'm all in. A running back in the second round? I kind of thought they'd wait till the fourth, at the very least. Oh. A running back in the second, because that's worked out so well for us with Carrion Johnson. I'm sort of with you here, regretfully, but I would think that if they were gonna take a running back, they'd at least take a complimentary runner. You're both insane. Swift, Johnson, and Scarborough? I can see it now. Any relation to Taylor Swift? No? Okay. Have you ever liked a Lions pick? You should try some of this. You wouldn't disagree with a Lions pick if I paid you, and I'm good on that. All right, all right. You two are like the living, breathing Lions online chat room. But here's the positives. He is an explosive runner, he's an ankle breaker, and he was averaging 6.6 .6 yards per carry in the SEC, which is no small feat. Finally address pass rush. Prior to his injury, he was actually projected to go a bit higher in this draft. Oh, great. We're doing the whole draft a brother thing. Yup, and I think it's dope. Brotherly love. Well, beyond that, 33% of his tackles went for a loss, and he had an 18.4% pressure rate since 2018. That's actually tied with the best defensive edges in the class. Great. Another name I am gonna struggle to pronounce. That's true. You could say the pronunciation is a little awkward. A guard. I'm definitely here for building the trenches. I'm trying to think of something negative to say. Of course you are. This guy is gonna be an immediate starter. We need the O-line depth too. This guy played 1,020 pass blocking snaps in college and he only allowed one sack. I'll take it. I, I can't tell if we're the P Patriots or the Buckeyes. <laughs> I like this guy, he's mean. He reminds me of somebody. I wonder who. I'm all about it. The O-line was a depleted position group and this guy is a beast. Competition for a roster spot definitely can't hurt. We all know how important it is to keep Stafford on his feet. I think this pick also shows commitment to the run game and that's awesome because Stenberg helped lead the Wildcats to the fourth highest rushing offense in his senior season. But I heard he is really he was really mean. I'd say the nasty mentality is a bonus. Ugh. With the other wide receivers on the board, why did we take this guy? Because he's a monster! Because he fits what we do. He's a contested catch pro. So likely he'll fill in for Marvin Jones Jr. when his contract is up. Kid is an Awesome route runner. It'd be all right to every now and then take a wide receiver whose speed isn't gradual. Akuda claims that he was the toughest wide receiver to cover in college too. That says a lot. I, I just wanted to take Donovan Peoples Jones, you know, like. <laughs> Ew. 
Interesting pick. They must be confident about their ability to shore up the defensive line in other ways. Change of pace running back. He's gonna give Ty Johnson some competition and he'll probably compete for returner duties with Agnew. Oh, sure, let's take a running back in the second and seventh. Commitment to the run! Will I ever just be able to stop crying? Oh, makes sense. These later rounds really are about scheme fits and checking off boxes. His name has the word penis in it. Grow up. I've seen good things about this guy. A stout interior anchor that wins off of pure effort and strength. Let's go! He could certainly compete with Atkins and Strong for a spot on the line. I can't say it enough. I'm all about depth pieces for the trenches. <laughs> Once again, scheme fits are typical for this point in the draft. This guy has a high ceiling. Everyone does to you. But why is he always wearing sunglasses inside? Well, he's versatile, which Bob Quinn likes, and he's the build that Matt Patricia likes, so that'll at least give him a chance to compete. It's like, not even that bright in here, and I can't tell when you're looking at me. 